There is a new next-gen TV box coming out, and it is coming from Zinwell. And this model is the ZAT or ZAT 600B. So the Channel Master website is the only place so far that we've even seen this existing with any place that you could buy it. At the bottom, and I'll show you this in a second, it looks like that they've partnered with Channel Master to start releasing at least this first Zenwell ATSE 3.0 product. So let me just read what it says. It says, the Zenwell Next Gen TV box is a standalone single tuner ATSE 3.0, ATSE 1.0 tuner that accepts accepts a standard digital TV antenna and is designed to decode slash tune ATSC 1.0 and ATSC 3.0 broadcast signals. The Zinwell Next Gen TV box is an ideal accessory for consumers with TVs that do not have built-in ATSC 3.0 tuners. The set-top box allows consumers to receive the best that Next Gen TV has to offer without having to upgrade their TV. The Zinwell box supports 4K broadcasts, enhanced Dolby Audio, and access to broadcaster applications. The ZAT 600B also features an on-screen TV guide and a universal learning remote control that can be programmed to control a TV and or soundbar. Certified to carry the next-gen TV logo, the Zinwell ZAT 600B will be security verified to operate without needing an internet connection. This is big. Recognizing the pivotal role that the quality of TV antennas and equipment plays in next-gen TV signal reception, Zenwell has selected Channel Master as its preferred partner for TV antennas and accessories, ensuring viewers enjoy superior signal reliability. And at the bottom, there's a little disclaimer that says coming soon, and that estimated availability is December of 2020. Three. And as you can see, 149 bucks. Let's just take a second and compare. There's the ADTH box, which is available for $90. That box, if you didn't already know, is basically just a white label box. It is very similar to the boxes sold on Alibaba without DRM support. The launch of the ADTH box has been horrible. It has not been going well at all. There's been many issues with the box. The box has been crashing. The Zapper box has had good reviews. They're just starting to roll out. DRM support with an internet connection. And it's actually funny because they're hoping to bring offline DRM support in December competing with this box. But again, this box is 149 bucks compared to 250 for the Zapper box or $90 for a box that has had a horrible start and crashes and is cheaply made. I find this box to be in a very unique position because it is in between the price point of the ADTH box and the Zapper box. As of right now, in my opinion, this box looks to be the best value so far because it's not super expensive Expensive. It's definitely not cheap, but it's not super expensive like the Zapper box. And the build quality seems to be good. The box itself seems to look very nice. It looks like something that a cable company would give you, something that's built to last. Zinwell's been around for a while. They've made ATSC 1.0 set-top boxes and stuff of that nature. I'm expecting these to work very well, just based on what I've seen. Now under watchnextgentv.com forward slash shop and forward slash receivers, if you scroll down down to the bottom, it shows that there are five devices from Zinwell coming later this year. And it says Zinwell devices are now certified and it lists five different models. Now, the first one that it mentions is this model that's on the Channel Master website, the ZAT 600B. The Next Gen TV website calls this an entry level model with all of the above features. Then there's another model listed, the ZAT 6000, which they call a quote unquote premium gateway for streaming to client devices. Devices. Then there's the SAT 600D, which is a small form factor dongle size model, which I'm guessing, you know, there's two devices in this picture right here. I'm guessing it's the second one in the picture. It's got that small form factor and it's a dongle sized model. Then there's the ZAT 6000L, which they're calling a premium gateway for streaming to client devices with 4G LTE functionality. So I'm guessing this maybe would work in a car or some sort of vehicle. If you wanted to get ATSC 3.0 capabilities in a vehicle, I hope that they don't just release it with 4G LTE 
functionality and that there's 5G functionality as well. I kind of find that to be a little bit outdated. So hopefully that gets updated. And then they also list the ZAT 600E. It says that it's a self-powered device. So it's self-powered during power outages and with emergency alerting with built-in speakers without turning on the TV. So this ZAT 600E seems kind of like an emergency FM, AM weather radio. So it's definitely interesting. I have not seen any of these other four listed at all anywhere else. The ZAT 600B is listed on the Channel Master website, and that's obviously where we know that this is coming out and it's going to be available in December for 150 bucks. But other than that, these other four models, there's no mention of them anywhere. I know the WatchNextGenTV.com website does say that these are coming this year, but they've been wrong many times before for dates when they're expecting to get out things. So I wouldn't be surprised if these are pushed back. But at least for now, we know that the ZAT 600B seems to be coming out in December. So this is now something else that people can look forward to. They don't have to just go with a Zapper box or an ADTH box in order to get DRM channels. Besides purchasing a brand new TV with next-gen TV certification. If you like this video, consider subscribing and liking the video. Follow Western New York Over the Air on Instagram, Twitter, and threads at WNY Over the Air. Like Western New York Over the Air on Facebook at facebook.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. Support the channel on Patreon at patreon.com forward slash WNY Over the Air. And check out WNYOverTheAir.com for live band scans, cord cutting tips, and much more.